Homestead. I am here today to show you a quick, easy way to make your farm cheese. We are in the throes of competition schedule and we've got homeschooling stuff and we're starting seeds and so things are just kind of crazy right now. I needed a way to make some quick cheese just to use up some of this milk that wouldn't have to be babysat and wouldn't require a lot of time. I thought, well, hey, I make yogurt in my Instapot. I wonder if I could make like a nice little farm cheese in my Instapot. And I tried it and it worked. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you what I did. It's just a very basic re recipe. I'm using a half a gallon of goat's milk. I'll use two tablespoons of white vinegar, distilled white vinegar, and that's what I'll use to curdle my milk to make my cheese. But the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and have your Instapot ready, and you wanna pour in your milk. So what I did was I just poured in the milk I cut on the lid, and then what I do, I did it just like I do when I make yogurt. So for yogurt, you hit this yogurt button until it says boil. I let it go until that beeps. The one thing I do need to kind of be aware of is when I hear that beep when it has come to a boil. Because if you wait too long, at least for me, the second time I tried it, I waited too long, it got too cool, and it didn't work. The first and third time I tried it, I let it get all the way to a boil, and then right away, I went ahead and opened it and put in the vinegar, and it started to separate right away. Um, the other thing about making this very basic farm cheese is if you don't see it starting to yellow and separate within the first five minutes, you wanna go ahead and add more vinegar. If you wait longer than five minutes, it doesn't work as well either. So, you, I do need to do this while I'm in here, kind of like cleaning, multitasking, working with the kids on school. It's not something I can go ahead and, and put on and go outside and forget about it and come back in. Um, I do need to be able to hear that second beep, but I don't have to babysit it. I don't have to stir it. I don't have to check the temperature. I just wait for it to beep and it's amazing. Okay, so as you can see, it has ended now. And so I need to go ahead and open it up and pour in the vinegar as fast as possible. And I'm just gonna drizzle this on the top. I'm just gonna use this, kind of mix it in there. Then I'm gonna let it sit and not touch it. So one thing I did wanna mention about making this cheese is there may be um, sometimes when you take off that lid, a little film that's formed on top of it. It will keep that vinegar from fully incorporating in your milk and separating it. So make sure you check it to see if it has that little film on it. Just remove it and then you can put your vinegar in and they'll start separating pretty quickly. Um, it should be within a minute or two. Like I said, definitely not more than five minutes. The other thing I wanted to mention about this, from the research I've done, um, this is not a true way. Um, it's not one that you would like save for baking and stuff like that or like put in smoothies. It doesn't have the rennet and the starter, and the starter in it, so it's not something that you're gonna wanna save for that. However, this particular way is great for your garden. It's also great for your animals. So you can go ahead and give it to your animals or go ahead and use it in your garden. Definitely don't throw it away. Okay, so after you wait the 10 minutes for your curds to form, then comes the fun part. I like to spoon it out you can pour it directly into your cheesecloth. I will tell you, it's a messy endeavor. You can pour the rest when it's not so gloppy. Um, the great thing about this cheese is that it's very versatile. 
You can mix all sorts of herbs with it. We've done lavender. We've done um, the everything but the bagel seasoning. We've done herbs out of our garden. You could just do salt. It's very good like that. Um, I like to eat this cheese on salads, but you can also strain as much liquid as you possibly can out and then press it into like a, a small container and make it where you can actually slice it. It will not melt. It's not a melting cheese. It's just a very basic farm cheese. But for being a very basic, very easy cheese to make, it's, I mean, you have a lot of options with it. So I really like it, especially for like right now when I don't have time to do, or we don't even have rennet yet. I haven't gotten it this year. So when we don't have those things or I don't have a lot of time, this is something I can very easily do very quickly and I don't have to worry about it. This one, this batch I made with vinegar, I have made it with lemon juice before, not like fresh squeezed lemon. Um, the acidity levels are different, are varying in lemons. So I use like the lemon juice I use for canning, but um, we did use that. It worked great and it had a little hint of lemon, which was nice too. So you can, you can use that if you don't have the white vinegar on hand, but you do have the lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out and get the rest of those curds out of there. And one thing I will say as well is these curds are good hot. <laughs> it is very fun to just sit and pick off the curds and eat them. Um, the other thing is that it's very sticky. So this cheesecloth is going to need to be washed right away um, or else it's going to be tossed because these key curds will stick in there and there's no coming off. So I'm going to let these drain a little bit. It's very, very hot. And then I'll come back to it and check on it and then we'll mix in whatever I want to mix in. The other thing to know about this very easy basic farm cheese is it is a little bland if you don't put the herbs in it. So if you want just a plain cheese, make sure you salt it with at least two, ta two teaspoons, I would say. Um, I did watch someone, I've never tried this before, but they salted the container, the bottom of the container, and then pressed in their cheese and it, the cheese just absorbed it from the bottom of the container. I thought that would be pretty fun to try, a fun experiment to play around with. But what I do is once this has drained, I just open up the cheesecloth and kind of move the curds around with my fingers and then just sprinkle the salt in. It's very easy to salt and um, it does get pretty well incorporated into all of the cheese. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this content, make sure you comment, give us a like, a thumbs up. Um, make sure you're getting those notifications to, so you don't miss any of these videos. If you have anything else you do with your Instapot that makes your life easier, please feel free to share those with us. I love my Instapot. I do so much with it and this makes me love it even more. So, but that's all we have for you. I hope you have a great evening and be blessed.